Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, first of all, I just want to announce the fact that I sound like a man right now. Um, yeah. Yes, I sound like a man right now. Um, I am sick at the moment. I have a cold. I hate it. I feel like absolute shit at the moment. Um, but I'm pushing through to film this video for you guys because I needed to film a video for next week. Um, or this week. I haven't decided when this is going up. But I need to film some videos before I go back to school. Um... I'm not on the holidays at the moment, um, so I, I could be talking really loud right now because I can't really hear because my ears like are blocked. You know when you like feel like, you know when you're on a plane and your ears like pop? That's what my ears feel like right now. Um, I have a cold so I'm probably going to cough and sniff in this video. My nose is extremely red so ignore that. Um, yeah, I sound like a man, I feel like shit, <laughs> but what can you do? I'm pushing through for you guys. The things that I do for you. <laughs> no, I had some Panadol a little while ago so I'm feeling a little bit better. But not that much still, but yes. Anyway, besides the point, in today's video, I'm going to be turning myself into Molly Samuels from After. If you don't know who Molly is, this is who she is right here. And here, these are the two photos I'm taking inspiration from. This one for the hair and outfit, and this one for the makeup, because it's a close-up of her face and her eyes, so I can recreate that makeup right there. Um, yes, she's played by Anana. Um... I love Anana, she's amazing. We don't really like Molly, Molly's kind of a high key bitch in the books, but that's okay. Um, because I love her style and her hair and her makeup in the movie, because I was gonna do Tessa, but Tessa is. Her outfits aren't the best. Her hair, her makeup is really boring. Um, so. <laughs> <coughs> I'm dying. So, yes, um, but if you guys wanna, want me to turn myself into any other characters from After, like maybe Steph, or I can do Tessa, or anyone else, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to do those. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do. Um, basically, I'm going to be turning myself into Molly, doing her hair, her makeup, and her outfit. I'm going to go take some photos and basically recreate this photo right here that I'm taking the outfit inspiration from. Um, and we'll see how that goes. So, yes, I have basically everything from the outfit except for the shoes I don't have yellow vans I couldn't find yellow canvas shoes anywhere like nowhere they didn't sell them anywhere I looked online I looked in store I couldn't find any so I'm like you know what? I'm just gonna wear the black bands that I have and maybe I'll photoshop them yellow later on we'll see how I'm feeling we'll see how it looks um but yes so my hair's a hiking mess because I slept with in braids because her hair's wavy. Anyway, this is just going for wavy. <laughs> <coughs> I'm dying. This is just going for way too long, so let's just jump into this video. I'm going to be in a different outfit in the next clip, um, because I'm probably going to put, like, the top on that I'm using for the video. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I'm so deprived of everything and I'm really loopy at the moment. I'm sorry. Let's just jump into this video. If you guys like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Remember to leave me any video suggestions in the comments below and tell me if you guys want me to recreate any other characters from After's looks and I'll be sure to do those for you guys. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already and let's just get into this video. <laughs> filmed at this angle of my room before um so you're over next to my bed this is my wardrobe um but you're gonna be zoomed in so just ignore that so first of all first of all we're just gonna start off with the makeup so as i said this is the image that i'm going to be taking inspiration from because it's a close-up of basically anana's face um so we can see her eye and the eyeshadow that she has it's kind of smoky and purpley i'm not really sure how we'll we'll just see how it goes um so yeah, I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see a bit better and um, let's just go. I'm also going to be drinking water a lot throughout this video because my throat really hurts. Um, so this will just help with that. So let's just zoom you guys in so you can see my face a bit better. Get into the eyebrows. Her eyebrows aren't too dramatic. They're just pretty simple so I'm just gonna probably pencil them in just a little bit more natural than I usually would um, because hers are very natural and obviously I'm not gonna shape mine 
like hers because they're similar in shape. Hers are a bit thinner than mine, but obviously we can't really do that much about that. So I'm just going to zoom you guys in. And um, here we go. This is my mirror down here, if you're wondering. Um, and yeah, we're just going to fill them in. Astro. Okay, so there we go. They're very, very natural. Um, nothing too intense. Just some light penciling with my essence. Make me brow. And then a little bit of brow gel with the Maybelline Brow Drama. And that's literally it. They're like not even, they're barely shaped. So, because <laughs> hers are very, very natural. Like I said, just filled in a tiny bit. And I'm going to go ahead and clean those up. <coughs> with a bit of concealer. Um, and now I'm just going to take a MAC paint pot in the shade Painterly. I'm just going to put that all over my eyelids, prepping for eyeshadow. So I'm probably going to take my James Charles palette. It doesn't even fit in the frame. It's that big. This thing is really problematic. Um, my James Charles X Morphe palette for this video. Um, I'm going to use a range of different palettes. Um, probably not the best for a video, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to take my James Charles X Morphe palette and I'm going to take the shade Punch Me first off just to use as a transition shade. Um, that is my favorite transition shade of life and I'm just taking it on a fluffy little brush here. <laughs> I'm going to take the shade Punch Me from the James Charles X Morphe palette and just put that in my crease as a transition shade. And we're not gonna wing it out, we're just following the natural shape of my eye because that's what it is in this photo. I'm gonna take my Stila Spirit Palette. This is one of my favorites. Um, my first ever high-end product. It just looks like this, it's gorgeous. And I'm gonna take the shade Slate which is just this light, like, lilac purple shade. And we're just going to start off with that. And I'm just focusing that on the outer corner because that's where she has it. I'm going to take the Zodiac palette by um, Kathleen Lights and Colourpop. And I'm going to take the shade, ooh, ooh, the Scorpio. The Scorpio, which is just this one right here. Focus, please. This, like, shimmery purple shade right there, which looks very similar to what Anana has on her eye. And I'm just going to, once again, focus that basically over the top of what I just did on the outer um, corner of the eye. And this is a really pretty shade, so I know we don't usually, we don't usually blend shimmers into the crease, but Anana's shade is shimmery, so I'm going to be doing that today. It's fine. We'll make it work. Okay, so that's what we're working with at the moment. Um, I'm kind of liking how that's going. I'm once again going to just take, I'm only going to do one eye on camera. I'm just going to take this shade, this shade, this brush and blend over that just once again, just to blend it all together. Okay, I'm really liking how this is going so far. Make that back to my Stila palette. Hopefully this girl's not found me this time. And we're going to take the shade down the bottom in the corner here, which is called... Uh, Pewter? I don't know how to say that. But it's just like a, a navy kind of colour. And it'll deepen up this look because this one's quite pigmented. And it'll just deepen it up and give it what she has on her outer flat brush. I think this is green on it, so I love that for me. Um, and just pack that on the outer and then blend it. And then we're gonna blend it because we don't want it that intense. Blend it with that purple brush just so we keep the purple in there. <laughs> So that's what it looks like so far. And I'm going to take a tiny bit of Kitten from this palette on a little flat um, 
brush because she doesn't have like sparkle in there but it's like a tiny bit like it's very subtle and this kitten is a very subtle color so we're just gonna put that and then I'll and then I'll go back and add a little bit of this in the inner corner just because I love a good sparkle in the inner Okay, so that's what we're working with. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I will be right back to finish off the eyes with the liner. Okay, so I just did the other eye off camera. Focus, focus. And this is what I'm working with. Hers is a tiny bit dark. I mean, mine's a tiny bit darker than hers, but I think it still looks all right. What I'm gonna do now is because it looks like she has liner in her tight line, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dark brown from the Stila palette. This is just Espresso. This dark brown shade right here on an angled brush. And I'm going to put that as liner on my upper lash line. Just to add, I've really been liking this. I'm only going to do it on the outer corner though. Oh, I've just really been doing it in like all my eyeshadow looks. And I feel like it adds like so much definition to the lashes. And I feel like it looks really good. long lasting eye pencil in the shade number one black fever and this is just a roll up eye pencil and I'm just gonna put that on my tight line I hate tight lining so much and in my waterline it's just like it uh, it hurts like so bad so we're just gonna see how this goes I don't do it very often <laughs> Okay, I feel like I just look like a crazy emo lady. <laughs> this one's just a model's prefer one. I'm just gonna... Look, I'm not the biggest fan. I'm not gonna lie. But like, I don't hate it. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you guys out a little bit just because we're doing my face now so um as you already know we primed so she doesn't have like that much face makeup on so I'm just gonna do what I usually do to my like face I don't wear foundation I just wear concealer so I'm gonna put concealer on any blemishes that I have and then under my eyes as well my eyes are so dark and intense and then we'll come back and do mascara after we finish the face because I and lower lash line not that she has like anything on her lower lash line I think the lower lash line's good for now okay so I'm just gonna put this on my face Astro. some powder to set that um, the powder I'm using is the face of Australia translucent powder what's left of that on that brush and I'm just gonna run that over my face just to brush myself up a little bit and Anna is a lot more Molly is a lot more tan than me so I'm just gonna just take that and put it on the places I'd usually contour just to bronze so I'm gonna take a combination of this sleek blush in uh, rose gold this has a really pretty gold reflex in it hello camera it's really pretty um and also the essence silky touch blush in number 10 adorable so i'm gonna start off with this one because it's quite intense and she just has a nice rose to her cheeks and then we're gonna go straight over the top of that with the sleek blush because this one's a lot more subtle but you can build it up and it just adds a nice, like, healthy glow to the face. Um, I'm going to come back and do highlighter after we finish off the eyes. So I'm going to take that black eye pencil again, just the model's prefer one, and just go over this because when I was blending my concealer out, it kind of disappeared on the inner corners. We're going to take mascara, so I'm going to curl my lashes and take the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, my all-time favourite mascara. It's really not my day today, honestly. Oh my god, I just got it on the freaking side of my nose. It's really not my day, 
Although, to be fair, it's never my day. We're a bit of a mess. We'll let this dry and we'll fix it later. Highlighter. I'm going to take a very subtle highlighter. Oh, this one's kind of intense. She just has a nice subtle glow, um, which is all we want. Um, so I'm just going to take this Glamazon Contour Kit once again on my little highlighting brush. I'm just going to go on my skin with whatever's left on this highlighting brush because, like I said, Anand doesn't have anything too intense, or Molly doesn't have anything too intense. It's just a little bit uh, lip balm that like, has a pink undertone to it, and this is the Essence All About Cupcake. Um, what's it called? Sheer and Shine lipstick, and I'm just going to put that. It's like a nice like pinky colour, because she has a bit of a pink undertone, like a pink. It's like, it's not even glossy when I'm looking at it, but let me go to a different photo. Yeah, she just has like a pink like little like undertone, and this is like a glossy thing, so I'm just gonna put that on my lips. So it just adds like a little... Wow, that looks so much more intense on camera, okay. <laughs> it adds like just a little pink glow to match the hair. Okay, so I'm just spray my face with a bit of a and then we have the finished makeup look. Okay, so welcome to my bathroom. Um, yeah, look, I don't know what else to say. Um, we're in my bathroom. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna do the hair. This is the little spray that I have. It is the L'Oreal Colorista Spray One Day Color for hot pink hair. This works on basically all hair types. I had to get, like, obviously I'm glad that the pink one comes for the brunette hair type because all the other ones are basically for blonde hair. And as you can see, I don't have blonde hair. So this one works on brunette hair. I tested it out the other day. It's really good. Um, I actually filmed a video with that hair. So you'll be seeing that next week, I believe, or you've, or it's already up, depending on when I upload this video. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go get a towel and get all my hair supplies ready. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be right back. This is the makeup, by the way. I really like how it turned out, actually. Like, I'm loving. But I'm going to put my hair up in the two little space buns. I'll insert the picture that I'm taking inspiration from over here. Um, and then I'm going to pull out some pieces. Basically, do my hair in the style first. And then we're going to spray it with the pink spray. I have my little towel here, which has the pink... Oh, wrong side, the pink all over it from last time. So I'm going to wrap that around my shoulder so I don't get it on my shirt. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to put it in the hairstyle. Basically, I'm just going to tie it in two ponytails and then put it in messy buns and then pin it. Like, we'll see how that goes because she has it over, over her ears. You can see, like, a little bit of her ears. And so I'm going to grab some from the back because I need it. All I did to get this like effect is slit with my hair in braids. I made it a little bit damp and then I braided like just regular plaited my hair. <coughs> um, and then woke up, took it out and brushed it through with my fingers a little bit so it wasn't frizzy. And here we have it. Okay, I'm gonna now do the little bun. So I'm just gonna tease this a little bit. Back comb this a little bit just because we want it very voluminous. Um, there we go. We're looking like a bit of a, Oh my god, you can see the pink tint in my hair because the sun's coming in through the window. You can definitely see the pink. Okay, we're looking like a crazy person. It's fine. It's all in the name of YouTube. Now, these are just very messy buns. Like, honestly, they're so messy. It's just like half the hair is like hanging out the bottom. 
So I'm just going to take some brown hair ties and just going to create a little messy bun. <laughs> I'm going to pin it, don't worry. It's not going to look like that. <laughs> I'm just going to grab some bobby pins and just fix this up. I don't know how I feel about this hairstyle. Once we put the pink in, hopefully it'll look better. But at the minute, I'm not the biggest fan. On me personally, it looks great on an honor. But on me, let me know, let me know what you guys think. Does it look good on me? Does it suit me? I don't know. I don't know how I feel. It's kind of cute, but like, at the same time, I don't know. We're going to put the towel around my neck now so I don't get pink everywhere. I'm just going to spray this on the bottom and then spray it in the buns. Okay. Ready? Oh! Can you guys see it? Now it's only like on the bottom part of her hair. Obviously, Anonymous is, or Molly's is a lot more intense because hers is actual, like, clip-in dyed pink extensions. But I think that's pretty freaking cool. Like, that's so good. Okay, we're going to let that dry. Um, we have it in little buns. I have it on the side of my head, but I'll get that off um, and cover it with makeup. But I'm going to let this dry, and I'll be back to show you the finished hair. Okay, so this is their full look. You probably can't really see it all that well, but I'm really proud of myself. I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. So I'm going to go outside and take some photos and show you guys... <coughs> Sorry. The full, full look. Um, so basically, I'll just give you guys a little OOTD to tell you where everything's from. My choke is from Sports Girl, I believe. My sunglasses are from eBay. They're just like the ones Molly's wearing in the photo. My top is from Supre. My skirt, which you can't really see. Let me just tilt the camera. My skirt is from Shein. And my shoes, black and white, old school vans. And they're like close enough, they're just not yellow, and I might photoshop them in the photo. But I'm really happy with the way that this look turned out, I think it's really cute. And I think it like looks really similar, and I'm really happy with myself. Like, honestly, do you guys think I look like Molly? I think I look like Molly. <laughs> like obviously, not like physical, like face facial features. Oh my god, the nose piercing, I almost forgot. I almost freaking forgot the nose piercing, how dare I. Hold on. Now, we're Molly. These are just fake nose rings from La Visa. Um, now we're Molly. <laughs> I'm so happy. Like, I think it looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna go outside and take some photos and show you guys the full look, so let's go. Ah, it's time to go away. <laughs> Okay, so we're outside now. You still can't see my shoes in this clip. And I also have my sunglasses here. Let me change that. But this is the full outfit. She also has a little side bag. This one's just from Mimco. Um, I don't know what type of one hers is, but I thought I'd just get like a side bag. Just get the gist of the shoes. So I'm going to take a few photos and... it for this video focus on my face please i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i had fun 
filming it. Um, I had a lot of fun filming this video. It's one of my like favorite videos like that I've ever filmed. It's so much fun. I love recreating like looks, and I hope you guys like the way it turned out. Cause I'm really really happy with it. I will insert that footage. You would have obviously seen the footage and the photos of me recreating it. So this is Molly's and this is mine. I couldn't get all of my shoes in. It was kind of hard because I didn't have enough room. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and be sure to leave me any requests for any other characters from after that you want me to recreate their looks. I can do Steph or I can do Tessa or anyone else that you want me to do. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.